Hey folks, this is Steve with Nonprofit Ally and we are headed into lesson nine of the how to build your nonprofit website in a day free online course. All right, lesson nine. What we're going to be talking about is widgets and widgets are, are we've gone over them before in when we set up our theme, but they have uh, some pretty special powers, pretty special features to them and they're pretty powerful. So go ahead and uh, learn more about widgets and I'll see you on the other side of this lesson. All right, welcome back folks. We are going to finish up our nonprofit website that we are making. So I am about to log in to my WordPress website and as that's logging in, I'm going to switch over to um, the front end. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be playing with called the widgets, right? And so when we go into our latest news page, which we just created, this right hand column is populated by widgets. Now, the thing with this website back on, uh, I'm going to go back to the home page now is if you recall when we made the front page content, like the what we do section, this was also populated by widgets. Now, that's just the way this theme works. Some themes do that. They use widgets to populate the, the main area content, but typically widgets are what's on the sidebar. So let's go ahead and look at the widgets area and that will kind of make more sense. In your back end, you're going to go over to the appearance menu and you're going to click on widgets. Now this widget area, it's, it's pretty straightforward. The right hand side of this are the areas where you can put these widgets. Right now, if you remember on that front page, the R focus section, let me click over there. This area is the R focus section and we created three pieces of content there. So in the widgets area, there is something called the R focus section. If I click on the arrow, you're going to see that there are three, two, three widgets there. And those widgets correspond with the widgets that are on the front page. Now we did this using some of the theme options when we made this, but now what we're going to do is we are going to adjust, let me go to the latest news page we created. We are gonna adjust this right hand column. And this right hand column is controlled by the sidebar widgets. Now, the, each one of these little boxes is a different widget. There's a couple of things we definitely don't need. We don't wanna have the metadata. So I'm gonna click on this and I'm just gonna drag it over to the left and just gonna drop it. It's like throwing it away. So that, but it doesn't throw it away because I can add it again. It's right here and I can sit here and I can drag it back. And so the metadata would return. It's very similar to menus, right? You can drag and you can adjust uh, the order. Um, but for the me metadata, we're getting rid of that. Categories, I'm gonna get rid of that. Search, our site isn't that big. So I'm gonna get rid of that. So now if we go over to the front end of the site, I've gotten rid of the search, I've gotten rid of the meta, and I've gotten rid of the categories. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this page. You see now the right-hand sidebar is a lot cleaner and simpler. And so there's recent posts, there's uh, ooh, comments. If you have comments enabled, you can have comments and then there's archives. I'm actually gonna get rid of my comments section. And so recent comments, you're gone. All right, so, so now on, on the left-hand side of your widgets area are all the widgets that you can add to your sidebar and other places on your, on your website. A very uh, a common one that people like to add is the calendar. And so on the left-hand side here, I'm just going to grab the calendar and I am going to put it in the sidebar. And um, I'm not going to name it. I think it's going to be pretty obvious what it is. And... Um, Give it a quick save, and it should show up between the recent post and the archives. So we're going to go to back to our latest news page. Give it a refresh, and there is a calendar. And um, so the calendar looks good. You can place it where you want. I might try it on the top. I'm going to go back and uh, just pull this up to the top of the page, to the top of the sidebar. Give it a refresh and see if it looks better there. Yeah. Yeah, I could go either way with that. So in any case, that is how you add widgets to your page. So if you wanted to uh, change the order of certain things, like maybe on our front page, the R focus section, let's let's take a look at that. We'll go back to the home page. 
if you decided that you wanted to change the order of the, your your uh, this section here, so maybe art should be second and courses should be your main focus, you could simply just take the courses widget, pull it up, and so it should go courses, art, and research. And we'll go ahead on the front page here. We'll do a refresh of this page. And now you see that the courses is now on the left side. Art is in the middle and research is at the end. So, so feel free to play with this widgets area all that you want. There's actually plugins that you can find in the WordPress.org website that you can install and have other types of widgets that, to, to play with. Um, in any case, that is it for today's lesson. Next lesson, our final lesson, is going to just be some tweaks. We're going to uh, make, make sure all our buttons work, make sure our pages are named correctly, and just kind of do a final overview of the site and set it. Uh, it's ready to go live. So good job, folks, and we will talk to you on, in the next lesson. Thanks so much for watching.